Wisdom teeth are Mother Nature's strangest practical joke. They certainly don't make us smarter. They definitely can cause a lot of pain. And somehow, we still grow them, even though they serve no evolutionary purpose. So what are wisdom teeth? And why don't we all want them in our mouths? When you were born, all of your teeth, even your adult teeth, are already inside of you, just floating up in your skull somewhere. Once your baby teeth fall out, one set of molars grows in around the age of six, then the second set comes in around the age of 12. And at last, sometime in your late teens or early 20s, the third and final set arrive. And those are your wisdom teeth. Most people have two on the top row and two on the bottom row. At some point in time, someone thought it was cute to call this third set of molars wisdom teeth. Because of that old adage, with age comes wisdom. However, as we all know, you are barely a functioning adult by the time you're 21. So that cute name doesn't really hold up in the modern era. And since nobody has come up with a better name, we're stuck with wisdom teeth. Woo! But again, the most confusing part about wisdom teeth isn't the name. It's why we even have them at all. Turns out, these chompers date back to our early ancestors who mostly ate raw meats, roots, berries, and leaves. Because they hadn't invented knives yet, they needed more molars to cut the food up inside their mouths. Fun fact, wisdom teeth are important for anthropologists because their presence or absence is one of the ways that help them determine the age of skeletons. Fast forward from caveman times to today when our jaw bones are now smaller than our hairier ancestors, which means that wisdom teeth are stuck wondering, Hmm, how am I supposed to fit in here? Because of this lack of space, wisdom teeth can grow in all sorts of weird ways. Sometimes they're just straight up sideways, or they only emerge a little bit out of the gums, which are called partially impacted. Or they get trapped in the gums and jawbone, which are called impacted. You might be sitting there thinking, hold up, I don't see any third molars. Well, that's not even up to you to determine. Your dentist needs to x-ray your face to figure out if you have them or not. And listen, you may be one of those lucky humans who's been spared wisdom teeth, but for the roughly 95% of American 18-year-olds who end up having them, those teeth have little to no chance of being normal or functional. This is precisely why you hear about so many people getting their wisdom teeth yanked out before any funny business starts going down. Impacted wisdom teeth can ruin your day in a variety of ways. If a wisdom tooth starts pushing against your second molar, it may damage that tooth or cause you to get braces. The wisdom tooth might develop inside a sac within the jawbone, which could fill with fluid, forming a cyst that might need to be surgically removed. Even partially impacted wisdom teeth can cause bad problems. Since they are so hard to clean, they're at a higher risk of tooth decay and gum disease. How impacted a tooth is will also determine how much surgery is required and also how painful it will end up being. If your wisdom teeth are fully exposed or as a dentist say, erupted, then they can be taken out as easily as any other tooth. However, a wisdom tooth that is severely impacted like it's buried underneath your gums and embedded in your jawbone, that means that your gums will need to be sliced open and you might lose a part of your jawbone in order to get that tooth. Hopefully you'll be on too much laughing gas to remember all the trauma happening in your mouth. Sadly, you really can't do anything to prevent any impaction from occurring. Your only move here is to see your dentist every six months so they can tell you what's up. And as far as wisdom teeth are concerned, that's the wisest thing you can do.